We're now joined by FC Tucson head coach John Perlman. Uh, John, give your thoughts on the match tonight, please. Yeah, first of all, you know, full credit to uh, Coach Vasquez and his his squad. Um, they were uh, very good in, in critical moments, and they uh, you know had to squad rotate after a really a heartbreaking loss on an own goal, and really showed a lot of character tonight. So I want to give them credit. In saying that, you know, we also have had to play a lot of players and push really hard to get back to where we have an opportunity, and we've driven guys very far and. Tonight it looked a little like heavy legs, and look, it's tough. You know, you're starting games late here. We've had basically five neutral site games here. Um, our crowd wants to be here. We want to have them here. The weather doesn't cooperate, and, and you need that when you're home, that kind of lift, that kind of push would have been so helpful tonight. Um, but the truth was, technically, we weren't good enough moments. We had a couple chances. I thought the first half was pretty even with us, you know, starting to really show some strength in the in the second part of that half. And but again, we've got some tired legs and some guys that are on limited minutes and uh, some guys who are just rusty from not being able to play and and trying to use some guys that have really helped lift us in lots of points during the season. So um, it's not a great performance for us. The goals, you know. Avoidable, in my opinion. Um, a good turn from Cheney. Again, he's been a handful for everyone in the league all year. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of a lot of tired guys, a lot of disappointment. Um, we wanted to play for our fans, and and we didn't have the opportunity to do. And it's, I have to admit, it hurts. And uh, I think it's 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 feels unfair and unfortunate. Um, and I'm just proud of the you know the, again the the effort. We had a couple chances at the end, but really the. The better team won tonight. There's really not a lot more to say. Ted, what's um, what's the approach going to be like the next two games? Yeah, opportunity and and you know obviously guys are professionals and uh, there's guys who have waited a while for their opportunity to train fantastically. I mean obviously, you know Northern Colorado we want to win. I mean and 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 we were obviously invested in that. Uh, we don't want to finish in 11th place. We don't want to be towards the bottom of the table. We'd like to jump them and jump anyone else that we can in these next two matches. So we're we'll going for three points, but in saying that, you know, obviously, you know, it, it's it's it, it's an opportunity probably for a Sean Murray and Tyler Moss who are in, in form and fit and and have waited their their time and and uh, to get some guys and some squad rotation, especially off this game, and then obviously, you know, our leaders and and bringing it home against Madison. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll put the best team out there that fits the opportunity to win. We're not doing anything differently. We have a professionalism and a pride in our crest when we go out there. But yeah, there's. There's some guys that definitely deserve an opportunity, and maybe you know, um, you know. But the truth is, some guys are still you know on limited minutes, so we're gonna have some guys that are gonna go again who are fine and fit, and uh, hopefully uh, we we seize that opportunity. And, and we're now a spoiler; we have to spoil their season. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us to play the play the bad guy, and uh, we'll we'll relish that challenge, and uh, you know we'll we'll get after it. James, so kind of looking back, how. Um in retrospect, how impressive do you think that September was for you guys? It was great. You know, obviously, I mean, there's, you know, you just look at it. Right now, you're not thinking about how impressive you were when. You're just thinking about how disappointed you are that you didn't get to show your, your best hand and your best game tonight for your fans. Um, but, yeah, of course, I'm so pleased with them. I've said this before. You know, they could have, you know, after giving up the 2 nothing game, 2 Fuego, and, and they've had our number this year. And, you know, it's and sometimes that's the case. The way we had Chattanooga, is, um, it was so difficult that moment when we were so far back. They could have packed it in, but they didn't do that. They've worked very hard. They still worked hard tonight. I mean, last still last second recoveries and a lot of pride on that field. But uh, you just felt like we were a step slow in moments. Key guys looked like they just didn't have the energy and the flash they had during that run, and and that happens. You know, we've we played a lot of guys a lot of minutes and. We haven't had the depth that we would have liked to have, and the, the, even the ability to squad rotate in certain spots. And you know, we, you, but you, 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 you ride your your best guys as long as you can when they say they want to go. And obviously, look, we miss Louis Perez tonight. Louis Perez is our best attacking player. He's our best chance creator. He's the most creative central that we have on the team. He has proven that throughout the year, and his heart was broken. But he was again. He's been on a, a doctor strain. He's been at sixty percent for the last four games, and. This football, you know, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm disappointed for him and disappointed for the guys, but I'm filled with pride and, and gratitude. And, um, you know, obviously we want to go get three points in Colorado and, and celebrate our fans uh, against Madison in a, in a 
what's been a very long and challenging year. You know, Fresno, when I mean, they were called Fresno, and sure. know, the, the Fuego, yeah. has always been a problem for this team. I, mean, I think they took you out of the playoffs like a few years ago. And, uh, very first game for FC Tucson was a loss to... Yeah, I, I think I think sandwiched in that, Ted, are a lot of wins for us, yeah, to be yeah. fair. But, yeah, I mean, certainly the first game Donnie ever played and scored the first goal was he against Fresno. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, Milton Blanco is on their staff. He was in the game in the 17 when we lost here. Bustamante, who's hurt for them, is on that team. I mean, there's, there's great history there, and obviously giving them a trophy feels even worse. Um, there's nothing to feel good about tonight, but, again, I give credit to Martin and their team. Again, they, they worked hard. Um, you have to tip your cap when it's appropriate and you can't be bitter. Um, you know, you've got to be gracious in defeat when, the, when, it, when th that's appropriate. And obviously, we're disappointed. We know we, we, could, we had great chances when we drew them 0-0 there. We were up 2-0. First half, you know, Donnie streaking across. You're thinking that's, that's a goal. Kalen got in on a great opportunity. But, um, and then a couple big saves at the end here. But... Full credit to them. Uh, it's tough to go on the road when they've had this stack of fixtures they've had. Um, but yeah, Fresno will we, relish that chance against Central Valley, you know, and, uh, you know, it wasn't our night, and um, we'll, we'll lick our wounds and get after it in Northern Colorado. Thank you, John. Appreciate Thank you. Your time.